Hey everybody! Welcome! I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm about a minute late. Urgh, I'm so sorry. I was actually in the living room um, with Steve and he was watching a game show and I was trying to answer the questions and our clock in the living room is a little bit slow so I didn't think it was seven o'clock yet. So I came in here and sat it down and I looked and I'm like, oh, it's seven o'clock, I gotta get on. Hi Ella, hi Diana, hi Elaine, Lisa, welcome. Janet, hi Aunt Janet. Oh, I love your profile picture, it's a beautiful sunset. I'm gonna change out my glasses so I can read what you guys are writing here. There we go. Yeah, hi Heather, I miss you. And Karen is on here, welcome. Sarah. Welcome. So, do you guys have a good week? I hope you had a good week. In the midst of everything happening right now, things are getting pretty darn crazy. I miss seeing you too, Sarah. Sarah um, had a vacation in Florida, and I saw that I think you had a pretty good time. You had some crummy weather for a couple days, but I hope you came back refreshed and relaxed. Yeah. I'm going on a vacation soon, so I am leaving on the 24th, which is next week, Tuesday, and we are going to sunny Arizona. It better be sunny. I'm telling you, if it's not, mm, not going to be a happy camper. Oh, and Wendy Sue is in Bloomington. Are you at Mall of America, Wendy Sue? Good for you. I'm sure you can use a break, too. Um... Yeah, so Steve has been sick all weekend. Oh my Lord, he has been so sick. It started at about 1.30 Friday morning. And of course, I was still up working. And then, um, yeah, he came downstairs. And he'll do that once in a while in the middle of the night when I'm still up and get some water or whatever. But he came downstairs and then all of a sudden, I'm like, did he just holler for me? And I went in the living room, and yeah, he was throwing up, and oh, I know it's nobody's thing, but I'm just so not good at all that. And so I was exchanging garbage bags. He couldn't even get to the bathroom. It was it was bad, but at least, whatever, I'm, ugh. But then we thought he was getting better on Saturday. He was feeling a little bit better, and then <laughs> Marie just said, do I have toilet paper? <laughs> I did not go out and buy any toilet paper. We just happened to have some. So, yeah, that's so weird. Um, I just can't jump on board with all the weirdness. I, it's just not my personality to freak out about things. And while um, I am alarmed for people with compromised immune systems, the elderly and infants, right? Um, for myself, I'm pretty healthy. So I don't think I have much to worry about. But for those that aren't, God bless them. I hope they stay home. Yeah, so anyway, Saturday, Steve was feeling a little bit better. And then he ate something and then it all came on again. Oh, I just am not cut out for all of that. And um, yeah, I would never be well as a hospital worker, I'll tell you that. So he is feeling a little better tonight. He actually grilled cheeseburgers. Um, earlier this afternoon and Haley and Jared stopped over so I got to see the little mama and um, they needed to borrow the truck to go get Jared's new um, recliner. Hi Lisa Kaszewski. Hi Haley. Welcome. Um, so we had dinner with Jared and Haley and yesterday I was um, feeling really blessed when I was thinking about it today that I got to take Haley shopping yesterday and I spoiled her a little bit and I really, really wanted to take her to the um, Skechers store because I know when I was pregnant with her 20 some years ago, um, my feet were horrible. Like I ended up, I couldn't even find shoes to fit. Like my feet got so swollen and fat and um, I wanted her to have these gel shoes that I found last week. So I made a second trip to Skechers with her and got her some shoes and she wore them today and she said they were fabulous. So if you guys haven't tried the gel shoes at Skechers, mm, delicious. They're so, so nice. Um, did I cook April? No, I didn't. Um, actually, I went to the grocery store 
And I bought the soup that he didn't keep down yesterday. So I like to go to Festival Foods. That's a big grocery store here. And it's like a really nice grocery store. And they have a wonderful deli where they have hot food. And um, I bought two different containers of soup. And what else did I get? I don't know. Oh, I bought some desserty things because, oh, I have such a sweet tooth. But um, I'm maintaining my weight loss. So I'm really excited that I'm able to eat my sweets and do that. And I'm not starving myself. So that's great. Hi, Cindy, Norma, Claudia, welcome. I see Lisa coming in from Texas. Make sure you leave a comment if you're popping on here. You will be entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I was able to take Haley shopping yesterday, and um, I can clearly see that this whole baby thing is going to be quite a financial problem for me because um, she actually almost drug me away from the baby section at Target. <laughs> She's like, okay, we need to leave now because I'm like, oh, we have to have this and this. We got the cutest little unicorn. They're like little crocheted shoes with the little unicorn on the front and a little like iridescent horn. So stinking adorable. But anyways, I can see it's going to be quite a problem. Yeah. Um, and then last week, I had a guy come in, my handyman. His name is Dan, the handyman. And he came in and redid the walls. I had put some texture on the walls in Haley's old bedroom. And he took that off, painted the whole room, tore up the disgusting carpeting, and put in... Um, I don't know if you call it laminate wood flooring or just what it is. It's not real wood flooring because that would be too much. Uh, it's way too expensive. But he put in new flooring and it's dark. I should have brought the sample in here. Darn it. Um, but it, it turned out so nice. So I'm pretty excited about it. Anyways, um, lots of things going on around here. Um, Haley's going to be off school. They called off school in Wisconsin. The kids are going to go to school Monday. And then Haley will be at school Monday and Tuesday, and then they're off until April 6th. And Lisa says, hey, girl, I miss you. I miss you, too. We need to do lunch or something. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, then I had a team meeting today. That was super fun, and I'm actually sharing projects with you from that meeting. And that's why I love my team meetings, because um, our team members will volunteer to demonstrate stuff. And so you get a lot of different ideas from a whole bunch of people. Thank you guys so much for wishing Steve well. I know, I feel so bad for him. And, you know, with the throwing up thing, you know, it's bad enough. Like, who? nobody likes that. But with him, after he had his neck issue that almost killed him, um, a few months later, he ended up in the ER with blood transfusions. They actually put him right in the ICU because he had internal bleeding. And it was from where his esophagus was torn at that point a couple minute, uh, months later. And I think it's because they were jamming um, breathing tubes down his throat because his airway got cut off and he was like dying. And they were jamming air tubes down his throat. And so for him, throwing up is really scary because that could actually tear again. So, ugh, ugh, right? Okay, so enough about all that. Today at the team meeting, we saw some fabulous demonstrations. We always have a good time. And um, one of the things that's really cool is no matter where you're located in the United States or Hawaii, which is part of the United States, I shouldn't say that separate, but you know, it's not on the mainland. Um, you can watch our team meetings live from wherever you're located if you join my team. So we'll be talking a little bit about that later. Um, this week, I have a blog hop on Friday with the Creative Inking design team. And I'm looking to see what exactly we are making because, of course, you know, I don't have mine made. I just did a blog hop uh, last night. A blog hop went live with the Stampers Dozen. So, oh, Creative Inking, our theme is Springing Ahead. So that's pretty wide open, right? I'm sure I'll figure out some pretty spring um, cards. Thank you, Marsha. Thanks, Amy. I see Andy's on here. She says, Washington State schools are closed until the end of April. Oh, well, ours probably will be too, I'm thinking. But yeah, this whole coronavirus is pretty darn crazy, right? Like, crazy stuff. Um, but anyways, I have a blog hop on Friday. Wednesday, my tip video will come out. I'm going to be working diligently on my kit classes. Thank you guys for ordering the Welcome Easter kit class if you got your hands on that. I have closed that now. Um, I am sold out. 
I'll be working on those this week and I want to get them in the mail before I go to Arizona. So I don't want to come home to that and I want you guys to have your Easter stuff because it's pretty important, right? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead with our winners from last week. Now remember, if you comment, share, and order, you get three chances to win with me. The first person that is going to be our big winner tonight um, is winning because of her comment left last week. And we have red rhinestone basic jewels. These are so fun and they're very, very pretty. For leaving a comment last week, Paula Bringman is our big winner. So congratulations, Paula. And then sharing, you can click on that share button right now. And while you're clicking buttons, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That helps me in the whole Facebook algorithms thing. Which, by the way, I think I'm very close to getting um, put in jail again in Facebook. So um, if you see me pop in under Steve's account, you'll know why. Hi, Melissa. Becky, we miss you today. Um, but I've been getting some little um, things happening with Facebook. Like today when I logged in, they kicked me out and made me re-log in. And that's a signal that I'm having a little bit too much activity on Facebook. And they're going to put me in jail again. But I'm like... Whatever. I got Steve's account. Um, Steve, don't talk about puke. It's gross. I already did that. Hi, Zoe. Um, but anyways, so if you see me in jail, that's why. I'm actually running a Facebook party right now for my friend Denise. She's from my area locally, and we'll be seeing her when we go out to Arizona, but she's in Arizona for the winter. So she had a party last year, virtual Facebook party, and now she's having another one. So it's kind of cool, but that's why I'm probably going to get put in jail. And don't worry, Denise, it's not your fault. It's all about Facebook and their weird rules. But um, there's a lot of activity that I'm having to do on Facebook. And if I get put in jail, I get put in jail. I'll just use Steve's account. I don't really care. I'm, I've worked around it. All right, next, next winner, I've got the High Seas 3D Embossing Folder. This is such a cool folder. This is going to Ginny Mullins for sharing this video last week. So congratulations, Ginny. This will be on its way to you. And then for placing an order last week, I have this, and I'm gonna show you some cute projects with it tonight. It's in perfect time for Easter. This is all also great for baby cards, so keep that in mind. But um, that little chick is really like real life looking and just stinking adorable. You know what? Let me um, mirror my screen so things aren't backwards. Hello, Kelly. Wake up. Oh, you know what? I did this earlier at our team meeting, and what happened was my screen started flashing again. So let me get me up on the screen so I can see if that is happening if that's happening, I'll turn the mirroring off because I know it can um, it can produce migraines. Yep, it's flashing. We're not mirroring. So everything's backwards. Sorry. But I do not want everybody popping off of here because um, the screen flashes. Now, last time when I found out about this, this happened to me in January and I couldn't figure it out and I like did everything to figure it out and I finally did. It was an update from iPhone that was messing with something with Facebook Live. And so then once my phone updated again, it went away. But I see that they've done something goofy again. So thank you, iPhone and Facebook. But we'll get beyond it. Anyway, Sarah Freetag, you're getting this stamp set and you're gonna love it. I guarantee it. You're gonna especially love what I make tonight because it's stinking adorable. Okay, then I received some mail this week and I wanted to show you my mail. This comes from Sharon Jones. Sharon sent me this beautiful card, and I'm sorry it's backwards, but it says your friendship is a blessing. Super, super pretty, right? And she says, thanks for all the fun and laughter on your videos. I love hearing your card ideas about creating on the fly. Well, we're gonna do a little bit of that tonight because I had kind of a super busy day and I wasn't expecting Jared and Haley for dinner. Loved having you here, don't get me wrong. But um, that took a little bit more time than I would have taken to eat. And so I was really rushing to get everything done. So we'll be creating some things that I haven't actually done yet. 
that's always interesting, right? We'll see. We'll see how I can create on the fly, Sharon. I'm going to set that right back here. And then I received a stinking, adorable card here. Hang on. And this is from Connie Billerman. Connie sent me this adorable, um, I was going to say Valentine's, St. Patrick's Day card. And don't you love that embossing folder on the back? That is one of our embossing folders. And um, super, super cute little St. Patrick's Day card. But then I have to show you this. Ma! Is that not adorable? The beard is made out of our cupcake set from last year. Super cute. She's got it on a wobbler. <laughs> I was just hysterical when I looked at it. And then it opens like this. So she's got a little magnet in here. It opens like this and look it. It's a green hostess cupcake. And you know what? I love them. And I will be eating this. Don't you worry. But let's do this again. You gotta love the wobblers. <gasps> oh my gosh, I just broke it. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. So don't wobbler it too much. Oh, I just like wrecked it. Well, I'm gonna stick it back on there anyways. Don't worry, we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't get carried away with the wobbly part. And I think I can put a glue dot in there. It just popped out of the little mechanism, so I'll get it fixed. Don't worry. That made me sad. Anyways, super fun, super cute, awesome cards. Thank you so much. Um, Connie is <clears throat> sending me a small thank you because Sundays are now something that she looks forward to. And she's wishing me well with my million dollar sales goal. That's creeping up. I still have my chain here, you guys. And as we hit each $10,000 increment, we will be busting off one of these and I'll have a great giveaway each time. Yeah, because I have to thank you guys. You guys need to get some reward for this. <laughs> Tammy said, sorry, but that was funny. I know, right? Um, I'll fix it. Don't worry, Connie. It wasn't your fault. I just, I was a little aggressive. <laughs> we'll be fine. Okay, let me set this right over here. Oh, and look at the envelope. How cute is that, right? Yeah, gotta love the envelopes. Next, what are we gonna do next? Oh, I know. Did you guys catch my blog hop last night? So last night I used the well-dressed stamp set. This is free with your $50 order during celebration. It's from the second release. And I made box top cards. And isn't this like the coolest thing? I love this gangster hat. And then I did a collage on all the rest of these. And then this opens like a box top. Whoops. On the front it says happy birthday and on the inside it says another sensational year of you and that and this are from the sending you thoughts which is also free with your $50 order. Along with that I used the pack of, we've got our sampler pack paper here, oops sorry, that you get when you join my team as a discount shopper. You also get any stamp set of your choice and this adorable little guillotine paper cutter. These all come in the kit for $99. You get to choose $125 in any product that you want. You get a 20% discount on all your future orders. And when you get done adding in the price of all these things, um, it's about $215 worth for $99. There are no strings attached. You do not ever have to do anything if you don't want to, but if you're a stamper, you should really be getting a discount on your products and be on my team because it's a really fun place to be. Yeah, so um, Sarah says that she is so making this when she gets home. I missed something, Sarah. Oh my gosh, all the messages. When you get your order tomorrow, yay! Um, she's going to make some of these. So here's another box top card, and I made it with the golf paper that comes free when you join, or you can order the golf paper. It's available. It's in the golf suite, the country club suite. But here is the golf card, or I mean, <laughs> the well-dressed card that I made with the paper instead of stamping. Let me get this back here. The collage. So two different ways. Really fun card to make, super easy. And guys love things that open different. 
because it's paper engineering and they they love to they're mesmerized by wow how did you do that so you do the left top right bottom and then you tuck this just like you would tuck the top on a box whoops hang on oh look at I just put a little tiny piece of um, tape on there gosh everything's falling apart tonight this one was my fault though well, the other one was my fault, too. But I'll get it fixed, just like I just fixed this. I didn't put enough tape on it. But I've got glue on that baby now. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think we're ready to stamp, you guys. I think we are ready. I actually cleaned up my office a little bit because I was having trouble walking. <laughs> yep. <sighs> yeah. Oh, Linda says, it is the funnest and funniest team in the whole world. I know, earlier today, so one of our team members messaged me this morning. She was coming to the meeting, and she said, hey, Kelly, I was supposed to go to a party last night, and I um, made some pudding shots. Now, the party got canceled. Can I bring them to our team meeting? And I was reading her message, and then it popped in, and yes, they have alcohol in them. And I said, yes. You can bring them to our team meeting. So I actually had some of her pudding shots. They were root beer and caramel apple. And can I just say they were delicious? <laughs> yeah. Jenny says, I wish I would have known Kelly when I signed up. I do too. But you know what? I hope you're being well taken care of because that's the most important thing. I want everybody to be well taken care of and have a, um, a positive, good experience. Okay, I've got my phone plugged in. Let me move my cord here. Hang on. Okay. Um, oh, my newest online class just was released on Friday. Where'd my calendar go? Yeah, the 13th. So I have an online class using the Birthday Bonanza. This is totally different than the online class or the kit class I did in February. Totally different cards. Nine cards, two treat boxes. Exclusive videos for all of them. You can order a pre-cut cardstock pack for all nine cards and the two boxes. Um, that's an option. You can order the online class by itself for $25. For $35, you can get it with a pre-cut cardstock pack. And you can order the whole product bundle that I have put together for $93. Get the online class for free and a bonus of the cardstock pre-cut cardstock pack. All of that information is on my blog, www.estampabub.com right hand column go to $99 kit and um, oh somebody must have been asking maybe about these yes these are a tutorial on my blog www.astampabove.com and it's actually the last thing that's on there because it just went live last night and there's a blog hop everybody's using celebration stuff okay I think let me put this back here so I don't lose it. We are ready. Are you guys ready to flip? I think so. Oh, wait. I have to show you my new teeth. This might be too much. Uh, yeah, I got new teeth this week. Pretty excited about that. I can chew on this side again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that might be too much information, but you guys know that I'm kind of pretty, I'm pretty transparent, right? Yeah. That's how I roll. Okay, I'm going to move my laptop over here. I am going to, oh, I'm going to do the card. I'm going to start with a card from last week that I didn't get to because you guys know I had more stuff and oh my gosh, I kept you forever. I probably will again tonight. I don't know. I just have a lot of things to share with you and you know how I love to share. So this card is going to be using that So Very Vellum and this is our celebration vellum. It comes in um, pool party, purple posy, and soft sea foam. Beautiful, beautiful embossed vellum. We're going to be using this for the first card tonight because I didn't get to it last week. And it made me sad. And you know what? I don't have all the stuff I need out here to do this card either. So hang on. Oh, there's a stamp sticking there. I think I'm looking to see what I need. Oh, we're going to be like kind of winging it here on this one too. I do need my punch. So let me find that beast. It's a big one and it's not there. And Lord help me find it. Here it is. 
Don't worry. I got it. Okay. We're going to flip the camera around. We're ready to roll. Are you guys ready to roll? Hi, Kate. Holy cow, we have 475 people watching. That is crazy. Thank you guys all so much for tuning in. Like, you make my night so fun. Okay, we're going to flip the camera. Is the vellum sold out? No, not to my knowledge. Lana, thank you. I know I love my new teeth. <laughs> um, yeah, I have not heard that the vellum is sold out at all. It better not be. No. You guys can you guys confirm that for me? I looked at the list before I came on, so I'm pretty sure that it's not sold out. Okay, we're flipping around. Hang tight. If you get motion sickness, close your eyes. And I see Connie, this is the first time viewing me. I'm so happy that you're here. We're going to have a lot of fun tonight because that is always my goal is to have a good time. And I think I do a pretty good job of it, even if it's just me having a good time. <laughs> yeah, well, you got to do what you got to do, right? Okay, I'm going to bring in my piercing mat. This is nothing more than our piercing mat covered with printer weight paper. I tape it on the back. It's a good surface to stamp on. And we're going to be using the Tags in Bloom stamp set. This is free with your $100 order. This stamp set is one of our newest um, in our second release celebration. There are 19 different stamps in here. And it coordinates with the Label Me Lovely and the other punch. Let me grab that quick because I did just see that in my drawer here. This one is called the Label Me Fancy Punch that will punch a slit for ribbon, you know, uh, weaving your ribbon through this um, little label and also a circle. So maybe if you wanted to do some baker's twine and put some holes in the end, but this is a pretty cool punch too. This one is called Label Me Fancy and that matches with this. And then this one is the Label Me Lovely, and that matches with these sentiments. And then you have two-step stamping in here. So let's get started. I am going to bring in that vellum, that um, embossed vellum. Here's my little cheat sheet telling me my dimensions so I can let you know what's going on here. And then, ooh, and you know what? Um, I should grab an envelope and I happen to have one right here so don't let me forget to do the envelope so I think what I'm going to do here I made a card similar to this last week but we're going to just use um, a different stamp set on here oh and Catherine says that the vellum is not showing that it's out of stock can't glitch makes no screen flash um so the vellum is not on back order or the discontinued list. You can still order it. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Joanne. Thanks, um, everybody. I appreciate your checking on that for me. So what I have here is I have my vellum. Oh, I gotta see what, what width this is. This is four inches wide. And I'm gonna bring in my little guillotine cutter. This is the one you get free when you join my team. And I'm just going to cut a couple of these in various sizes. Now, I didn't get too crazy about measuring. I'm just cutting them. And you know, sometimes that's just the easiest way. So now I'm gonna bring in the Purple Posy. I'll give myself a thicker one there. Got that, and then the green one. Oh, I see that I kind of messed up the edge of this one. See that right there? Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that. And I need to sweep my floor, so I just tossed it right on there. Do you guys do that? Do you just throw stuff on the floor? I don't know. Probably I'm the only one. And yeah. <laughs> Maybe that I should be telling you. I just threw it right on the floor. But, you know, whatever. Okay, so now, let me set this over here. I am going to bring in a card base of Pool Party. And this is four and a quarter by 11. And we're just going to fold that. I've scored it at five and a half inches and burnish that edge good. And then we're going to take our vellum. Oh, I need to get out my sponge. See, I put all this stuff away this week and I shouldn't have done that. Here comes my silicone mat. 
This is how I like to spun. This is how I like to do vellum with. Um, I don't like to see tape and vellum tape. They have tape for vellum, but it, you can still see it. It's ugly. I don't like it. So I'm going to bring in my sponge, and I just got a little Echo fastener clip on it, and I'm going to put a little glue. Boom. Boom. I got a little bit of glue on each end here, and I am just going to put this at the well, maybe top of my card, just like that. Okay? Then we're going to go with a piece of blue. And I think I'm going to pick the smaller, the thinner blue one. I just want these to kind of rotate back and forth. Here we go. And I'm going to bring this in. And I don't want these to be perfect, so this is a little off. It's not perfectly lined up. Now I've got the really thick one, and I'm just going to kind of go back and forth with the thick and the thinner slices of this paper. And this one I made really crooked. Now I'm going to start again with that purple. Glue on each end. And do this. And the blue. I might have to cut some more here. Thought I had enough. Here comes the blue. I just love doing this. Um, I think this was actually a card that Stampin' Up made and shared with us. When you're when you join, whether you're going to build a business or be a discount shopper, Stampin' Up gives us. Oh, I've got some pieces here. Hang on. Stampin' Up gives us. Um, what color do I need? Purple. I don't have a skinny purple one, so I'm going to make a skinny purple one. They give us um, an email every week that's called Succeed Weekly, and it has stamping ideas in it. So that's part of the fun of being a discount shopper or a dem build business builder with me on my team is that you get the Succeed Weekly every week from Stampin' Up! And it's really fun because they give us ideas on what to do with all these fabulous products they're sharing with us. Okay, let me get rid of this. Now, I'll show you the cards that we made last week with this design. For right now, um, let's see, this is going to be our inside piece, I think. Hang on. Nope, I didn't have an inside, but I think I need a scrap. So let me grab a scrap of Whisper White here. I'm going to bring in my Memento ink pad. And we are going to stamp, I should say ink, this stamp up. And I'm just going to stamp this right here. Love it. And then I'm going to bring in this image, which is just kind of some dotty lines. And I've got my Highland Heather ink. I'm going to stamp... I have to look at my punch to see which way. Okay, so if you if you stamped it this way, it's not going to meet meet with your punch. You want the rounded edge on the top. That's what I was looking for. I'm going to stamp this one right here, and then I think I'm going to go with the "I miss your face" because I think that's hysterical. We talked about it at the meeting today. It was one of my greetings. Like you could put "I miss your face" on it because it's so funny. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to grab my Highland Heather. Yep, I've got my light and my dark. Oh, no. Oh, shoot, I did that wrong. I don't want to use Highland Heather, so hang on. I actually wanted to make this one Bermuda. I have a Highland Heather one to show you. So I'm going to flip this over right here, and we're going to do a different color with this stamp. We're going to do... Bermuda Bay. Make sure I'm doing it in the right place. Right there. Okay, that's going to work. Sorry. This is what happens when I make cards last week. Like, I can't remember what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, and Debbie says she ordered one of the piercing mats today. That's awesome. You will love having it. I love mine, and I use it, like, religiously. Okay, then we're going to bring in that Label Me Lovely punch and punch this out. Maybe. I'm kind of shaky tonight. Are you guys making me nervous? No. Probably too much caffeine. Um, here we go. Now we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of that. 
Let me grab all of them here. <laughs> Got so many dimensionals going. We're not going to worry about all this nonsense. So we've got that ready to go. And again, I use Bermuda Bay. Now I'm going to close this up. I'm going to bring in my Bermuda Bay blends. And also, I need a green. And what color do I want? This is dark sea foam. And I think I'll use that. We'll see. Where did that scrap go? Right here. Okay. We're going to do a little bit of coloring on here. Yeah, that isn't really dark enough. So hang on, I'm going to find a different green here. What is this? This is Old Olive. Let me see what that looks like. Mm -hmm. I don't think I like that. Oh, what's this? This is Light Granny Apple Green. Yep, that's what I want. I'm going to do Light Granny Apple Green. And I'm just going to color in these leaves. There's only a few of them here. Now, one of the neat things about this stamp set is it has all of these two-step stamping. So let me show you this. I want you to be able to see how you do this. So I'm just going to oops, do kind of a partial here. We're going to work with it this way. And then you can bring in these two-step stamp processes. I'm just going to grab Old Olive here. These are our leaves. Let's see, how do they go? Yep, just like that. Okay, so here's the part that you can fill in. Look at that. Mine's a little off, but you need to be over top of your project. And that's really hard to do without putting my head in the camera. And then another one that's in here is this one right here. This is your two-step stamping process for this flower. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? There's the inside piece right here. So we could do that. Like, let's do whoops, a little different color with it. Just like this. Yeah. Oh, that's actually quite attractive. That was crushed curry, by the way. So you have all of these two-step stamping that you can do with the stamps that are in this set. And let's see, how does this one go on here? Just like this. There we go. Okay? Pretty neat. But we're actually going to color ours in with the blends. So I've got my dark Bermuda Bay. And I am going to just kind of give it a little bit of shading because you know I like to be kind of artsy because it's super simple with this, with these markers. And then come in with the lighter and blend that color. And you just kind of keep coloring over it so you can't see those definite lines anymore. And then I think the inside, oh, I'll grab my green. I'll just make that whole inside green, which kind of looks yellowy. Okay, now I'm going to take this. We have a punch to punch out this image, right? And you can punch that out, but we don't have anything to punch those flowers out. So you can see that I dropped my ink pad on here too, which I don't care about because you know that through the magic of Facebook Live, I have already done this and I did not drop my ink pad on it. <laughs> Just saying. So, whew, winning already, right? <laughs> yeah. Jane says she loves Bermuda Bay. I do too. It's actually one of my go-to colors all the time. I love, love, love it. Now, one thing we're going to do here is we're going to take this sentiment that we stamped I miss your face on I'm gonna stand up so that I can get this on here correctly there we go okay and now we're gonna take our card base and again I love Stampin Up Stampin Up has all the matching things right I am going to take our striped mini striped ribbon. This is the Bermuda Bay mini striped ribbon. And I'm going to tie this in a bow right over here on the side. 
Let's see how good I can do a bow. This is a lot of pressure to tie a decent bow with 510 people watching. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I so appreciate it. You're what makes my Sunday evening like so cool. Okay, so that's not a bad bow, is it? Because it is a lot of pressure. Okay, we've got our cute little bow there. And then I'm going to bring this in and we're gonna add some dimensionals to the back of this layer. I'll show it to you in just a second so you can get a better look at it, right? And I always kind of like my dimensionals to straddle my ribbon because if you put dimensionals on ribbon, your elements will wiggle around and I don't like that. That's something that kind of, it's my weirdness. It drives me crazy. Rhonda says she's sorry for being late. Oh, I'm glad you got your order this week. No problem on being late. You can always go back to the start and rewatch. I'm going to pull this down just a touch. And we are going to add this right here. What do you guys think? Now, this ribbon was 22 inches. I don't think I said that. There we go. Is that not really, really cute? Now, we've got this inside layer here. And I am thinking that maybe a piece of our vellum might look nice on there. So I'm just going to cut a piece of vellum that's nah, about that big. Again, no measuring. This is probably about three quarters of an inch. I'm going to bring in, I'm going to bring back my glue sponge. And where'd my glue, here it is, and my glue. Here we go. And I'm just gonna put glue up to about there. I gotta get this back in here so you can see what I'm doing on the back of my layer. Put this right here, this leaves lots of room for us to write on the inside of our card, right? Just a little something for that inside layer. And then we'll get this in our card. Why do I keep putting the lid back on my glue? Like I can sit here all day and stamp and never put the lid on my glue, but tonight I seem to be closing it up. Ooh, I like that green against that pool party. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? Okay, and then the other thing you can do is you can stamp some flowers on your envelope. And I think I'm going to go with this little flower right here. And then my Bermuda Bay. Okay, now this is a little bit trickier because you gotta figure out where does this line up at. Oh, I got it. Yay me. There we go. And how about the green? Where did that green go? The green for our center. Or you could use yellow. Oh, I like the green together. There's our envelope. Here's our card. And then I told you I had another one that I did in Highland Heather. So hang tight. And I will show you that. Here is Highland Heather. This is our gorgeous grape mini striped ribbon. Which one do you guys like better? Ah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I forgot something. Look at this. Don't forget these beauties because this is really going to bling your card up. If you don't have any of these noble peacock rhinestones, get yourself some on your next order because they are simply smashing. And I love them. And I'm going to just, whoops, I'm just going to go right here and add some of these little beauties. Yeah, bling bling, right? Here's the purple one. Um, I colored this with the Highland Heather markers and stamped it with Highland Heather here. Okie dokie, let's get on to our next project. I'm excited. Oh, and I told you I'd show you this. So this was um, the laser cut detailed specialty paper. I did the same idea in the background with that free vellum. Now this vellum is free with your $50 order. Don't forget that. I gotta take a drink. What are you guys drinking tonight? Oh my gosh, my throat was getting so dry. 
I am drinking my strawberry lemonade, of course. I know I'm boring, but I'm really a creature of habit. Like, I have my little routines, and that's part of it. I have another really pretty card that we made last week, and I used the Flowering Foil Specialty Paper. This is free with your $50 order. You get it in 12 by 12 sheets. And I cut out one of the flowers, and then I used that vellum again on this card. That's from last week. Tags in bloom, free with your $100 order. Okay, let me get some of this stuff out of my way so we can get on to our next project because I'm pretty excited about it. It's really, really, really cute. I'm gonna pick up, oh shoot, I dropped a little sliver of vellum, hang on. I don't wanna waste this because we can make some more things with it, right? Put that in there and that in there. Get my little mess cleaned up here. Punch in here. All my bits and pieces and my stamp set out of here. And I will clean this up later. I always go through and clean all my stamps when I'm done so that you guys don't have to wait around for me because I think if I was on the other end and I was watching you, that would kind of make me a little crazy. We like things to kind of keep going, right? Clipping along. Okay. Next. Ah, oh, what should I make next? I am thinking... I think we're going to make a cute little Easter card. So let me just set these off to the side. These away. And... Bring out all our bits and pieces here. This was, yep, my little cheat sheet. And we've got all the bits and pieces coming in. Ooh, look what I'm using. I love it, love it, love it. We are going to be using the Pleased as Punch Designer Series Paper. I've got a bunch of different colored scraps here that coordinate with it. And a little three quarter by four inch piece for, you know, the inside layer, yeah. And then I told you that I was going to be bringing, I was gonna be using this Full of Happiness stamp set. So this is actually, I just cracked this puppy open today after our team meeting because Gina, from our team demonstrated the cutest little basket and I'm going to show you how to make that but first we're going to make a card so hang tight coastal cabana five and a half by eight and a half I had to score this because it was cut the wrong way so it scored at four and a quarter I don't usually score on a um on a card that's this size because well you don't really need to and then I've got a piece of Whisper White. This is three and a half by four and three quarters. And then the Pleased as Punch Designer Series Paper that is also three and a half by four and three quarters. And if you have missed this, this is the Pleased as Punch Designer Series Paper. It is so pretty and so springy. It just makes me happy every time I pull it out to use it. Look at all these fun designs. Now this is the first time Stampin' Up! has done this. They have This is part of our coordination release. And there are four different punches that match all the patterns of this paper. We've got our heart punch pack, our tulip builder punch, our umbrella builder, and then also our small, hang on, let me get to it, our small bloom punch. This matches that paper. So you've got four different punches that match this paper. And I've been having so much fun with it. So first thing we're gonna do here is we're going to take a scrap of white and we're going to die cut one of the larger squares out of it. Now this square I think is about two and a half inches, just in case you don't have the stitch shape dies. Yeah, it's two and a half by two and a half. And you just need to cut a square, but I use the stitch shape so that you get that very trendy little stitching around the edges. And then we're going to, oh, where's my ink pads? I'm gonna bring in our ink pads here. I've got Calypso Coral, Daffodil Delight, and Coastal Cabana. 
Ooh, we've got some people drinking wine. Um, Cheryl asked, what was the size again? The size on this paper is three and a half by four and three quarters. I hope that's what you're asking me. Okay, we're going to take our Daffodil Delight. And this is the Full of Happiness set that Sarah Freetag won tonight. So this will be coming to your door this week, Sarah. Um, I think Sarah's in Eugene, Oregon, so you should have it before Friday, I would think. But um, we're going to be using this, and we're going to stamp up this realistic-looking little chick. This is so cute, you guys. Now, I'm going to stamp it fairly close to the top of my square. And this is our um, distinctive... Uh, type of stamp that makes it look realistic. So I did not do anything to get the different variations in color. It's all about the rubber, which is really cool. Then this is also a two-step stamping process because while we've got this, now we have some, well, this isn't, hang on, we'll get to that in a second. Sorry, I jumped ahead of myself. Now I'm going to come in here with the little feet and I'm using Calypso Coral on the feet. And then I have the beak. This is the two-step stamping process because we have a little beak that goes in here. Let me see where it goes. I think it goes just like this. And please help me get this on right. There we go, that's pretty good. I can't get my head over top of it to see what I'm doing, so kind of winging it a little bit. Memento Black, we've got two little eyeballs here. Oh, did pretty good there. He's got this one little eye bugging out. This reminds me of our dog, Rudy. I won't tell you why, because it's kind of a horrible story, but he had a little eye that bugged. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't attractive. But um, then we're going to take our Coastal Cabana, and we have this greeting that says, you always brighten my day. And I'm just going to stamp that right over here, I'm stamping it right on my square. And I just love this little color combination, right? It's just very soft and pretty. Okay, then we've got our inside layer. Let me make sure I've got the right one here. Yep, this is four by five and a quarter, Whisper White. And I'm gonna stamp the May Your Easter Be Full of Happiness. Now, if you don't need an Easter card, you always brighten my day, it can be sent to anybody. And this chick will brighten somebody's day because it's stinking adorable, right? But I am going to make an Easter card here. Then I'm gonna take this rainbow striped Please Just Punch Designer Series paper. It is a cute chick, Rhonda says, that's a cute chick, I know, right? And Angie Fairburn says that she is cutting card kits for her April class while she's watching me. That's a good use of your time. I like that. I'm always um, multitasking like that too, Angie. It's just it's just who I am. Even if I go sit, I never go sit in the living room and watch TV. But if I happen to do it, I always have something to do. Like I like to crochet and knit and I'll just sit in there and do that. I haven't done it in a very long time, but from time to time. Like last year. <laughs> last year I did it. Okay, isn't that pretty? Like, doesn't Coastal Cabana, first of all, is a gorgeous color. What is all over my nails? I must have some glue on them. They look gross. Okay, enough about my nails. But isn't that just pretty? It's pretty. Okay, then what we're going to do is we are going to bring in these and we're going to offset them just a little bit. And I think. This is what I want to do, so I'm going to just add some glue right here, just like that, okay? Just offset a little bit, and now I'm going to put the designer series paper on the front layer straight. So all I'm looking at is that. I'm not looking at the white, I'm just looking at the DSP, and I want to get this centered in the center of my card. And this is a real popular look right now with that being um, off kilter. And then I think I'm going to add some dimensionals to this. And this is where the part comes in where I haven't actually made this card yet. So we are stamping on the fly. That's what we're doing. Let me get my pokey tool out here. Get these little buggers off of here. 
works really good. Here comes our cute little chick. And I'm just going to put my chick right down here in the bottom left corner of my designer series paper. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is stinking adorable, isn't it? What do you think? Do you think we need a ribbon? Hmm. I think we might need a little piece of ribbon. Will this look good? Maybe. Let me tie a little bow and see if we need a bow on here. I wasn't sure, because like I said, I really haven't made this card yet. Oh, I know what I wanted to do, too. We're not done with this yet. It's got to be more spectacular. It's cute, right? But it needs to be a little more spectacular. I don't know about that, but I do know that I want some flowers on it. So we're going to bring in this small bloom punch, and I'm going to do... A flirty flamingo flower and maybe a coastal cabana flower. We'll see how it goes. Okay, like this. Okay, I like that. I like this. All right, we're, we're looking good. Then I have some pear pizzazz here and my leaf punch. I wanted a little greenery in here. And I don't know how many of these I'm going to need, but we're going to figure it out right now. Would these flowers look better up here, do you think? That it kind of balances it. What do you guys think? I think it kind of balances it a little bit. So I am going to put a little leaf right there. And I think I'll just cut one of these off. Where my scissors go? Right here. I'll just take off one of these because I don't want too many leaves on here. Yeah, that looks good, right? Okay. Hang on. I'm going to just put some glue. I'm just going to pile up a little glue right in this corner because those flowers are going to cover it. Our leaves are going to stick to it. So I just kind of put a splotch of glue right in that corner. And then maybe we'll use dimensionals on the flowers. Let me grab my minis. And I don't have any minis. I know I have some. Hang on. Well, for Pete's sakes. Here we go. Don't worry. We've got dimensionals. I'm going to put the flowers... Where did the flower go? Right here. Oh, that could have been frustrating. Here's a dimensional for that flower. Get that ready to roll. And then I'm going to bring in this one. And a dimensional on here. Tracy says she needs this paper. Yeah, you do. Not going to lie. You definitely need the paper. We're going to put one little flower here. And how about just another... We'll kind of overlap that flower right here. Oh my gosh, how cute is it? Okay, and then I have pearls. Here they are. I'm like, I have pearls someplace. And now I'm going to take these little pearls and put them right in the middle of the flowers. Now, I've done it. What do you guys think? Is that adorable? Look at how cute that is. There's more. Not on this card. I'm done with this one. But I got some more fabulous ideas with this puppy. So hang on. We're going to keep our scraps out here for the next project. And I don't think I need this bow. I mean, you could put the bow on there if you wanted to, I guess. I don't know. But I, I think I'm going to stick without the bow. Let me get these put away. Thank you guys for all the love. I see all the hearts coming up and the wows. You guys are so sweet. And here we go. I'm going to set this off to the side. I think we still need that one. I don't know if we need those or not, but we'll see. Clean up my mess here. Get a drink because my throat's getting dry. Oh my gosh, again. Now... These next projects that I had to share you with you, they are going to put you right over the edge tonight. And I'm not kidding. So today at our team meeting, Gina is one of my team members. She's extremely talented. And oh my gosh, if she only knew what a good presenter she was, she does a really nice job of presenting, demonstrating at meetings. She's just so calm and she doesn't get too rattled. She's not like me. I'm like, little all over the place very calm 
yeah, she's she's got it going on. And I have to say that we had another presenter today, too, that has never done a demonstration for one of our meetings, Bonnie. And she did an amazing job. Not even going to lie. And then Christine demonstrated. And, of course, Christine always does a great job, too. So it was really fun to watch all of these guys do their demonstrations and they showed us the coolest stuff like there wasn't even enough time for me to show you everything they made today but i will in good time so don't worry now what we're going to do here this is the please does punch with the um tulips on it we are going to take this this is three and a half whoops whoops hang on this is three by eleven sorry three by eleven and then i've got two pieces of Daffodil Delight that are half inch by 11. One piece that's half inch by eight and a half. And by the way, you guys will always find all of these dimensions, pictures, still photos, and a complete shopping list on my blog that you can click on. Also, if you're watching this video after it's live on YouTube, please click on that share button. That really helps me out. Give me a thumbs up, a like. But you'll also find the list of products that I've used for all of these if you'd like to place an order under the YouTube video. When you click on See More, there's a drop down that gives you all of my links and a complete shopping list. So I just want you to know that. Then I have a piece of Daffodil Delight 3.5 by 3.5. And, and we're going to do a little scoring on this one. I'm going to bring in my new paper trimmer. I actually gave one of these away today for a door prize. I know the person that picked it was super happy to have it, too. So lots of fun at those team meetings. So we are scoring a half an inch on all four sides. So this is really, really super easy. You don't have to know a whole bunch of measurements for scoring this one. Half an inch on each side. Here we go. Um, one thing that I did find, I made a bunch of these today, by the way, so I have a whole bunch to show you because you know I like get carried away and I can't stop myself, right? But um, one thing that I found as I was making all of these today that it's easier to score before you start clipping the tabs to make our little box bottom. So you definitely want to, um, I shouldn't say score, you want to burnish your edges before you start clipping. I just found it to be a lot easier because sometimes when you burnish after you've clipped this, it can like push it sideways and it makes it kind of goofy and whatever. If you do it while everything is still intact before you start clipping the tabs, it just seemed to work out better. So there's your tip for the day. And what I'm going to do here, you can use tear and tape, or I found this to be much quicker. And I'm pretty sure it is going to stick together just fine. We're not going to have any trouble. This is our little box bottom, and it all comes up like this. So I've turned it over. I'm on the outside of it. And I'm just going to take a mini glue dot and put it in each corner on that little tab. We need one more here. How's everybody doing? Am I missing any comments? My screen is not scrolling again. So I'm sure I'm missing some stuff. And um, at the end, I will for sure um, ask you guys if I missed any questions. And I'm really sorry if I did. But you guys know it's hard to talk and think and create and monitor messages and do all the things. It's, it's, it's a little bit more than the average cat can handle, and obviously I can't. <laughs> and I would say I'm probably pretty average. <laughs> okay, we've created a little tray. Okay, that's what I'm going to call it. And again, three and a half by three and a half scored at a half an inch on all four sides. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in this designer series paper. And you have to decide which side you want to be the outside and you're going to turn it over. This is the inside. This is the outside. I'm going to the inside. Now I'm going to grab that tear and tape. And if you want to know how to use your tear and tape like a boss, you put it on like a bracelet and you will have much better control over it. Okay. I've got it on like a bracelet and now I'm going to have a lot of control. That roll isn't going to be flopping around all over the place. 
and this works really really good I can't remember who showed this somebody showed this to me on a video and um, it was quite a while ago too I actually did a tip video on it after I saw it on somebody else's website but I thought it was just a genius idea so here's our tear and tape on here as long as we're working with tear and tape I am going to oh it's better if you put it through this way so that you can now grab the tear and tape you have two long pieces two 11 inch pieces and one eight and a half inch piece the eight and a half inch piece is just going to get a little bit of tear and tape at each end one here and one here okay these other long pieces you're going to put tear and tape on the whole thing and you can do it right down the middle there we go and this one also and tear okay oh and on this piece you're gonna need a piece of tear and tape on this left end so you're gonna put a piece of tear and tape right over here there we go ah get my hand out of there all right you want to make sure your tear and tape is pushed down good so that it sticks to your paper. And then we're gonna peel off this big one, just like that. Now we're gonna take it and you're going to, it's on the bottom here, you're gonna start right in the middle of your little tray and you're gonna push it right down to the bottom like this. So I'm gonna tip it like this. You wanna make sure that you're keeping it even with that bottom edge before you press it down. If you happen to get off kilter on this, don't panic. Don't rip it apart, just keep going. Because we're gonna cover this up anyway, so there's no need to get crazy about it. Now, when we get to this last one, we're gonna peel this off. Where'd my tool go? Right here. We're gonna whoops, peel this last piece of tear and tape off, just like that, and Oh, I have to tell you guys a funny story. My husband told me right before I came in here live, he said, he told me not to get smart with him. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Push your fingers in here on those little edges that are down in there to make sure that it's good and secure. And he said, don't get smart with me because tonight he's going to come upstairs to bed. But the couch was pretty comfortable, so he's always got that option. I'm like, really, Steve? You're threatening me that you're going to sleep on the couch. And I have to tell you, he's not watching anymore, I'm sure. When I wake up in the morning, all I have to do is just pull my blankets up and my bed is made because, like, my covers don't even move. <laughs> yeah. When he's in bed, like, I have to do a complete revamp on the whole bed. So, there you have it. <laughs> so, there's smart pants, right? Okay. Now, again, I'm going to start right here in the middle, and you're going to, this is like the border that goes around the edge. And you're just going to press that down. This is like your finishing touch to your little basket. This is a great way to use up your designer series paper. Stop the hoarding. Paper goes out of style. And I had somebody make a comment last week after I said that on a video, and they say paper never goes out of style. Yeah, you don't think it does? but it does. So, okay, this next one, some of it is classic. Some of it will be good forever, but like, let's say that stripes are really popular right now. So you get a lot of striped paper, right? Because that's what's trendy. But in a couple years, stripes aren't popular anymore. So now suddenly you're making cards with product that isn't real trendy and your cards aren't as I don't know, popular, as spectacular, as, you know what I mean. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So use the paper. You can always buy more new, different paper. But if you don't use your paper, then you have to say, oh my lord, I have so much paper I can't buy anymore. And that is not fun. <laughs> Look at how cute this is. Is that not adorable? Okay, last but not least, we're going to take this piece. Now, I put tear and tape here and here. And from the bottom, we're going to, like we're curling ribbon with our bone folder. We're going to do that, and that's going to help bend this. And then you're going to pick off that tear and tape. 
from both ends. And I just put like, I don't know, about a half an inch on here, I guess, would be a good way to do it. Don't sweat this. Just put your handle in here. You don't need to mess around and measure and do all the la la la. Just put the handle in the basket. Look at how cute it is. <laughs> right? I love it. Okay. Now, we need to do a little decorating on this. So I thought what I would do is... I would bring in my Timeless Tulip stamp set, but then I didn't have time to mount it. Next, specs, next best thing to doing that is to bring in your designer series paper, okay? We made cards today for our make and takes at the team meeting with designer series paper. And these, the punch, will punch out the tulips on here. So we're going to cut this off just a little bit, there we go, and bring in our punch and punch out this yellow tulip. And of course you could choose any colored tulip that you want. i got to get this in here right. It's, this is getting in my way. Hang on. There we go. Alright, so this punch matches the tulips on the paper. Um, where did that leaf go? Okay, so then we need leaves. So I'm going to punch a leaf right here. And now you're going to turn it over and punch a leaf from the front. And I'll show you why in just a second. You want your leaves to go like this and like this. And if you punched them both from the same side of the paper, they wouldn't be different. They'd be the same. They'd both be going the same way. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Okay. So I've got a Daffodil Delight scallop circle and a stitched shape circle out of Whisper White. I'm just going to attach this to this. That's just going to give me a tiny little scallop pop there. We're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this layer. Oops. Top and bottom. Now we're going to bring in our pretty little tulip and our leaves. So I'm going to kind of do a dry fit here. Do this. And then, the, oh yes, this is going to be perfect. So again, I haven't made this yet. This was just a thought in my head of what to do with this. And then make sure I'm putting glue on the right place. A little bit of glue right here. Okay. Then we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of here. And I just read somebody is saying about outdated colors. Yeah, you do have outdated, not only patterns, but outdated colors when you hoard your designer series paper. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute that is. Right? Okay, so hang on. I gotta get these dimensionals. Oh my lord. And there we go. We're gonna take this and put this right on the front of our cutie patootie little basket. Now, um, where is, I happen to have some shred, and you know it's Easter time, and you can get shred at any of your big box stores or your grocery store, or whatever. Some places have prettier shred than others. Mine has a little bit of iridescent in it. Quite frankly, I think I got this last year at Walmart. But I am going to fill my little basket. I wonder what these, oh, these are, these are speckled. Oh, look at Coastal Cabana. I'll tell you if they're any good. Ah, look how cute they are. Oh my Lord, this is perfect. And the colors are perfect, right? Look how cute that is. What do you guys think? Yeah, super cute, right? I love it. Okay, now I have some more to show you. Don't go anyplace. Um, I wanted to do another one, and then I have lots to show you. So I'm going to take a piece of Whisper White, 
and I'm going to stamp. Where did my stamp set go? Um, did you see the chicks? What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. I knew I didn't get it too far away. Okay, we're going to do another little chick. Da -da -da. Here comes our chick again. This time we're only doing the chick body. Then I'm going to bring in the Calypso Coral for the little beak. Oh, that's kind of really off, but like, again, I can't see because <laughs> I'm not over top of my project. Let's see if we can get his eye and keep it from bugging out. It's better. <laughs> not going to lie. And then we're going to stamp this half of an egg. One thing that I did not get to play with that I really wanted to was this patterned egg. You know what? I think we can do that. Okay. I have an idea. I'm going to do this, okay, and then we're going to cut both of those things out. So I've already done that here. And then I think what I'm going to do, let me think about this for a minute. I'm going to use Daffodil Delight. I want something kind of mellow to stamp this striped egg because this is also two-step stamping. This fits right into the shell of the egg. So let me get this off of here. Sharon said she likes it when I stamp on the fly. Well, here you go, Sharon. You're not going to be disappointed tonight. <laughs> not guaranteed that everything works out when I do that, but it is fun. Oh, how cute is that? Okay, so now what I plan to do, and this was Gina's idea with the chick, okay, she took the chick and she put it into, I need to go look at her chick right now. She put it into the little um, egg. Okay, so we're going to do that. Put some glue right here, maybe. Let me get the glue burger out of the end. Ugh. We're going to put the chick right in here. And then... I've got my flowers over here. We're going to do a mango melody flower, a flirty flamingo flower. Remember, this punch is free with a $100 order. So that's one of the celebration items. And I am going to take the flowers and put them right over here. I need some leaves. So let's just punch out a leaf here. And I'm going to take a look, maybe one more set of leaves. We're not going to leave, need a whole big deal of them. There we go. And again, this is pear pizzazz. So I am going to do what I did on the last one. And I'm just going to scribble some glue here because our flowers are going to cover this up. Put our leaf in here. Maybe our leaves right here and then we'll do some mini dimensionals on these cute little flowers and whoops I gotta grab them here have you guys ever done this like my first finger really hurts I jammed a key under my fingernail today and I jammed it in there hard enough that my fingernail underneath started bleeding and now it really hurts have you done that like that's painful I hate it when stuff like that happens. And then when I was eating, I got ketchup in it. Yeah. <laughs> and that really burns. Like ketchup is a burny thing. I know we've got a lot of bigger problems in the world than Kelly's poor little fingernail and her ketchup burn. <gasps> Look how cute that is. Okay, so I don't think I like... <laughs> I don't like all these leaves. <laughs> There's too much leaves here. So let me cut this one out. There we go. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, and then I still have the pearls. I like the pearls. Gina used the pearls today on her, I think she used the pearls on her flowers, and I just thought they were super cute. The little pearls, right? Hang on, that one didn't work out so good. Here we go. Little pearls, super cute. Isn't that a cute, cute, cute? Okay, dimensionals on the back. 
gosh, I've got quite a mess going on here, you guys. I'm going to do a dimensional here and a dimensional here. And then I will show you the other basket. This is the same pattern that Gina made. Look at how stinking cute this is. And now we're going to do this. Is that not adorable? What do you guys think? Super, super duper cute, right? Yeah, where's the rest of my shred? I thought I had some more colors. Um, oh, I have some green. I'm gonna try the green. I bought a whole bunch of Easter candy just to share ideas with you. And, you know, don't get me wrong, I will eat it later. <laughs> just not right away. So I can have it to share with you. Oh, this has the iridescent stuff in it too. This is really pretty. It's like granny apple green. Yep. And then, ooh, these are going to be cute. I've got some M&M eggs. That's what they're called. These are, this is all new candy. Oh my Lord, look how cute that is. Okay. So there we go. There's our chick made with the full of happiness and next I have another this is the little basket with the um, plaid petal pink plaid I haven't done anything with this yet um, I do have this in here however and you know what I think I'm going to stamp on here let me gla grab my petal pink ink and here is our cute little saying. Put this right here. And I don't know if I really like that because I think my stamp was a little dirty. It didn't come out bright like it should have. So let's try that again. There we go. And then where'd my paper go? Right here. Let's take one of these cute little flowers. Now it's cool that this punch also matches the designer series paper. Okay. And we'll put a mini dimensional on there. And we'll find our glue. I can hardly move here anymore. Like I've got so much stuff out. Just that little tiny pop. And how about if we set that right there and then again, we'll put some dimensionals on the back here and add this to the front. This is really mellow, mellow and soft looking. This could be used for absolutely anything, right? Look how cute that is. And I'm going to take a pearl, put that right in the middle of my little flower. It's all those little things, right? Okay, I have more. Hang on. Here comes another one, and I think I'm gonna do the same thing to this one just so that I don't keep you. It's almost 8.30 already. But we're, aren't we having fun? We are having so much fun, right? Okay, let me get my stamp cleaned off. And whoops, I just almost smashed one of my baskets. I've got Highland Heather here. Here's another white you always brighten my day and then I think that how about where did our Highland Heather scrap go does anybody see that any place no, 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 no. maybe we didn't have one out let me grab one Highland Heather here we come and I'm just gonna punch out another little flower we're gonna put a mini dimensional on it Add this to the side, put a pearl on it, put this on our scallop layer. The, the scallop layers, by the way, are from the layering circle dies. If you don't have them, you need those as well as the stitched shapes because you guys see me, I almost use the stitch shapes every single time I stamp. It's like they are the best investment I've ever made. As far as dies go, I don't think I've ever used dies as much as I use those. Whoops. And here comes our next little basket. Look at that. How stinking adorable is that? What do you guys think? Yeah, so let me get this mess a little bit cleaned up so I can spread everything out here. 
I've got one more basket to show you. Hang tight. I'm going to put a few things away. I don't want to dip my baskets in my open ink pads. Lord, we don't want any swearing tonight. <laughs> okay. A little bit of a mess. Quite, I, I've actually got quite a big mess going on here. Here's basket number one. I'll put these stamps in here. Punches. Holy cow, did we make a mess. It's okay. I'll get it all. Oh, look, I almost like threw this off my desk. I'll put that right there. Here we go. So here's our little chicky basket, right? With our little chicky card. Here's just, and these all use the pleased as punch paper. All of these are pleased as punch. Here's our little tulip basket with the tulip paper. And I'm gonna eat another jelly bean because I can. And then we have this card that we made. And this card that I made ahead of time. And then I wanted to show you this. How, whoops, wrong side. How cute is this? I just put a bow on the front. This uses the Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper. I actually have some Bermuda Bay M&Ms that I got at Mall of America, right? I've got those in here. I would put some shred in the bottom. But this can accompany a super cute little birthday card with the birthday bonanza. So don't forget birthday bonanza is my online class for the month of March, nine cards, two treat boxes. Plus you have all of these ideas. I've got a ton of ideas on my blog where I made stuff with this. Um, super, super cute online class. You'll find that on my blog. Now, you would like to place an order with me, you know I always appreciate your orders. You can help me get to my million dollar mark. I am 900 and, uh, no, let's see, I am $85,000 in sales away from my million dollar career to date sales. And that's a really big deal with Stampin' Up! when you hit a million dollars. So if you'd like to help me do that, you can go right over to my blog, and the right-hand column is an online ordering button, and you want to use this host code or whatever host code is listed under that ordering button. That will be the most current host code. I always, always appreciate your orders. And if you have any questions, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be that person. I would be happy to send you catalogs. Again, just pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above .com. I would be happy to mail you the catalogs, but you have to send me your address first. And um, Connie just said, Kelly Atchison's online classes are great. Order them. Thank you so much. I love doing my online classes. I try to make sure that I am giving you fabulous content for a very good price. So I think you'll really like them. And these are M&Ms. And they're really pretty. Look at how pretty they are. Isn't that just adorable? Gina, thank you so much for sharing this idea today because I actually had goosebumps at our meeting and I told the girls as she was demonstrating how to make this, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm doing this for Facebook Live tonight and I need to go home right now. <laughs> and we all laughed because of course I wasn't going home right now. But here's a cute little card. I designed this card to match the little basket that Gina designed. That's one of the things I love about being part of a group is that we share our ideas and while this was fabulous for me to do for Facebook Live it spurred me to make and design this you know it's just those little things that'll help spark your creativity and I love all the sharing in our group our group is fabulous I have a Facebook page for my team and we share every single day card ideas and answer questions and help people get to wherever they need to go on the demonstrator site to find the thing that they can't find or whatever. Um, it's so nice to be part of something so much bigger. Every Tuesday morning at 10.30 a.m. I do a Facebook Live question and answer session for my team. I'm going to flip you guys around now. 
And that's really fun because we get to know each other a little bit. Ooh, look at my hair looks goofy. And um, question and answer time. You can post your answers on my team Facebook page under the graphic and I will answer them every Tuesday if they can wait. If they can't wait, you can always email me call me, instant message me, text me. I get it. It's coming in in all different directions. <laughs> the best way to get in touch with me is to email me though. Don't count on Facebook to leave messages for me to see if you're leaving a comment someplace where you have a question because sometimes I don't get those for several days and then all of a sudden, there it is. Gina, you were on tonight. I'm so happy. What did you think? Do you love my card? I thought this was super duper cute. And I modeled it after your basket, darling. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did I miss any questions? Please make sure you share my video. That helps me out more than anything. And you never know. Share it to your timeline. You never know who is your friend out there that might be looking for a new hobby. Or that maybe stamped 20 years ago and went, oh, look at my friend Sue is stamping. And she just shared this stamping thing. You might have a new friend to stamp with. You never know, right? Um, yeah, so uh, who just said that? Mary, was it Mary? Oh, no, Deb said those baskets would be perfect for May baskets. We talked about that today at our meeting. We decided these baskets would be good for Valentine's Day, for Mother's Day, for May Day baskets, for little Easter baskets. They would be good at a baby shower to sit in the middle of the tables and have candy or, or nuts or whatever in them, little snacky deals. Um, they would be great for Christmas. You could make one of these and put Christmas candy in it. Better yet, oh my Lord, I just thought of something really cute. Instead of putting the handle like this, put two handles on and make it look like Santa's pants. I just thought of that. I've seen it before. Um, not with this exact basket, but it is a really good idea, right? Secret Santa at work or Teacher Appreciation Day if we ever get back to school. Boss's Day. All of these would be fantastic. I see Bev says she just ordered Paper Pumpkin. Um, she said, I got my order and I didn't get it. Paper Pumpkin doesn't come with your order. It comes separately, Bev. And you want to make sure that you have gotten your activation code and activated it in your Paper Pumpkin account. So contact me via email. I think we've talked about this a little bit. But if you subscribe or if you buy a prepaid subscription, meaning you're going to pay for one month, three months, six months, 12 months, whatever it may be. When you buy that in an order, Stampin' Up! will send you an email saying thank you for buying the subscription. Here is your prepaid activation code, and then you have to click on the link and put that code in to start it. And I think we've talked about that. So um, the paper pumpkin kit mails separate from any order that you might have placed, just so you know. <clears throat> and you have to activate it before the 10th of the month to get it. And I'm pretty sure that Bev and I have talked about this. So hi, Tony. Um, yeah, Jane says she can't wait to get Paper Pumpkin. I can't either. I usually have them sitting around here, but I love them. They're so much fun. I like the challenge of coming up with alternate ideas to share with, with my Paper Pumpkin subscribers and you guys on my blog. I have a little dry spot in my throat. <clears throat> okay, Gilmore says she shared, but she's watching the replay. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right, does anybody have anything for me? I think I'm going to sign off. It is 8.30. I've kept you long enough. Did we have fun tonight? Yeah. Oh, um, Tina wants to know what's the name of the pad that I stamp on. This is called a Stampin' Pierce Mat. So Stampin' Pierce Mat. And you'll find them when you do a search in the online store. Just put in Pierce Mat. They'll pop right up. Okay, good. Everybody had a good time. I'm happy to hear that. I haven't gotten my paper pumpkin jean. My paper pumpkin doesn't come until usually later this week, actually. Later this week, my paper pumpkin will arrive because next week, on the last Thursday of every month, I have a paper pumpkin blog hop. So it always comes like several days before that and gives me enough time to make my alternate ideas. And as I'm looking at my calendar, 
next week, not this week, next week I will have a blog hop on Thursday for Paper Pumpkin and also Totally Techniques will be um, having a blog hop. I got to go look and see what our technique is. I don't even know. Yeah. All right. Oh, I was going to share birthday cards. What birthday cards? Annette just said you were going to share birthday cards. Um, Was it these? Birthday Bonanza, I think. Is that what you're talking about? I don't know. I hope you're typing fast. <laughs> Type away. Oh, Sarah says her paper pumpkin will be here, be there tomorrow. How do you know that, Sarah? Um, thanks, Maureen. I'm happy to see you on here. Okay. Oh, Heather says that her paper pumpkin usually comes around the 20th. Thanks, Linda. You're so sweet. I am so happy to share my stamping with you. Oh, thank you. I just missed whoever's name that was. Who was that? Um, Mr. Sherry was right. You are awesome. Carrie, thank you so much. That is so sweet. All right, I'm going to I'm going to go. If you had a question that I didn't answer, please send me like a private message or pop me an email, kelly at a stamp above .com. Um, always appreciate the share, the thumbs up, click the like button. Um, uh, whether you're on right now or watching the replay or watching on YouTube. And uh, thanks you guys for tuning in. I will be live again on the 22nd of March, 7 p.m. Central Time. And um, I don't know, I'll see what I come up with for you guys. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see me use, let me know. Um, sometimes I do take those suggestions and make them happen. Sometimes I've already got kind of things planned, but I don't think I really have anything planned. Hmm. Yeah, so. I'm just reading your comments. You still haven't gotten your pom-poms. No, the pom-poms are not in yet. They're still on back order, but they will come. Don't worry, um, Beth. They will be coming. All right, I'm going to sign off, you guys. I've kept you long enough. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Have yourselves a wonderful week. Bye-bye.